How many of you actually know what my daytime job is? No, I'm not a full-time photographer, and I'm certainly not a full-time YouTuber. What's going on guys? Shooting Dave here. So good to see your faces. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here and you don't know what I'm about, I am a photographer from London that now lives here in Los Angeles and I make photo and video editing tutorials. So if that sounds like something of interest to you, then please do consider subscribing. Okay, so my full-time job is that I am a lead automotive CGI artist working at Taylor James here in the Los Angeles studio. That is why I moved from London to Los Angeles, and if you want to know a little bit more about that story, then hit the link up here. Now, I have an extremely hard time explaining what I do for a day job, hence the purpose of this video I'm going to show you instead. So maybe my family will actually believe me that I do work and I don't just colour in cars all day. Recently, I had the pleasure of creating some imagery for BMW USA for their summer sales event, and it was posted everywhere. I actually created four images in total. We have one of the family pack shot, then I have three individual shots as well. However, going through how I created all of those images is a bit too much and this video would be far too long. So let's focus on the let's focus on the BMW X5 for now. The image started out as a stock image or what we call a backplate. It was then manipulated under the guidance of the client with our retouch team here at Taylor James. My job was to take the supplied CAD data from BMW. CAD data is computer-aided design and it's what they use to actually manufacture the vehicles. We get tessellated versions of that data which we can ingest into our rendering software and that's what I use. So I had to create all of the shaders and all of the textures for this car so it looks like the real thing. That means I tell each and every single material on the car what colour it is, whether it's reflective or not, how smooth those reflections are and whether there are any textures inside it. Sound simple enough? Well that was actually about two or three days worth of work. Once all the shaders and textures and materials are created for the car, it's time to get it into the back plate. This involved camera matching the car using a CG camera so we could position the car so that the perspective of the car matches the back plate. Once that was done, it's now time to start lighting. To start lighting, we are given a HDRI dome with the original back plate, and that's what we use for lighting. But what is a HDRI dome? A HDRI dome stands for High Dynamic Range Image, and it's a huge panoramic essentially, a 360 by 180 degree image with a bunch of lighting information in there meaning that you can re-expose it. Now it's 32-bit rather than 8-bit JPEGs which we're all used to. So that 32-bit of information means that it has all the lighting information needed to actually project those reflections onto the car. And we use the HDRI dome as the basis of our lighting. That way the reflections at least match that that is in the back plate. From there, we start adding supplementary lighting in CG, much like you would if you're photographing a car for real on set. You start looking at the car in its base exposure and go, what else does it need? Maybe we can make more of the shoulder line, or maybe we can make more of the wheels, or maybe just a little bit more fill light down the side. All of those things are done in CG the same way they would be done in photography. Right, once lighting's done, that means you're finished, right? Well, no, but it's time to render. Now, what rendering means is it actually is the computer's job to then calculate all the light information. So all of those lights and how they react with all of those materials that we created at the start. Now, how long does a render take? Well, that really does depend on the complexity of the scene. So how many materials in there, whether anything's in motion, like in this image, the wheels are spinning. And renders typically take anything from one to 10 hours for a single image at 10,000 pixels wide. So for each of our renders, we actually render each image in its component form. What do I mean by that? Well, each image is basically comprised of the same sort of thing. Lighting information, refraction information, reflection information, and specular information. Now we render in these component forms so that it allows maximum flexibility when addressing client feedback. 
So that means basically if a client wanted to make an area brighter or darker, we have the ability to do that. Our renders are 32-bit, meaning that we can re-expose it anytime we want without needing to go back and render. And also if we want to do some like hue shifts to the paint, we can do that easily. The same with if you had unwanted reflections in the clear coat of your paint, you can clone that out nice and easily without the need to go back and re-render. Now a project like this typically takes about two weeks to complete from receiving initial CAD data to handing over the final retouches images and also accounting for all the client feedback in between. Two weeks is a pretty short amount of time, but luckily at Taylor James, we've got some very good efficiencies that allow us to work in this very flexible manner. And if you wanna see more from Taylor James, I'll leave a link down in the description. We've got a bunch of cool projects, so please do go check them out. So I know it's a different video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and you actually got to see a little bit about what I do for a day job. If you want to see more from me in this kind of video, then please do let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Well, anyway, guys, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And as always, guys, I've been at Shooting Dave and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.